Hey ladies, it's Nisha and I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be an update on my RPG show Lace Wig. <laughs> um, just really quick specs on it. This is the ELS 131-S. Um, it is a 20 inch silky. It's a uh, cap construction number 3 which is a glueless cap and what glueless basically means is that it has um, like adjustable straps in the back and like combs so that way you don't have to glue it down which this is not um, glued down as you can see it lifts right on up um, <laughs> so I, don't, I didn't glue it down or whatever I did however add like the elastic bands to it and I'll leave that video down below on me you know applying this unit um, but back to the specs it is a silky unit number one and it is a cap size number one as well. Um, I've actually had this wig for about a month now. Um, I haven't been wearing it, you know, the whole month. I haven't been doing it. I actually wear this when I'm either in between installs or when I was co-washing, you know, my prior installs. Like I had it when I had my curly hair in, my Mongolian hair. So whenever I would co-wash that hair, I would actually remove my U-part and co-wash it and, you know, let it sit for like a day or two days, and then I will wear this. So um, I've been wearing it for a while. I'm actually in between another install. Um, yeah, I'm in between another install. So I've been wearing this wig probably for about maybe four days. Yeah, about four or five days I've been wearing this. Um, until I get everything situated with my current install that I have. Um, so I just wanted to come and give you guys an update. So many people were asking about the wig. You know, how is it holding up? Um, you know, am I getting shut-ins, tangling? You know, just different things. So I just wanted to come and update you guys. Now, as far as shedding, I'm not actually getting any shedding that's, you know, extreme. I really don't notice shedding unless I'm combing or brushing the wig out. It's nothing to the point where I'm, you know, having hair on my shirt or, you know, notice anything falling. So, I mean, it does shed, but it's really, it's very minimal. Um, like I said, it's nothing to be, you know, <laughs> just freaked out about. Um, as far as tangling, no tangling, do get snags. Um, the snags are mainly in the back. Um, and here's one right here, and that's basically what I get. Um, nothing to the point where, you know, I have to get a comb or a brush to comb them out. I can just kind of just run my fingers, like, right there, and just do that, and I'm good to go. Um, so that's working out fine. Um, a lot of women's concern with laces is after wearing it for a while, the lace starts to fray, and it starts to cause, you know, the lace to go back, and then your hairline to actually fall out not your actually hairline but the hairline on the wig to actually fall out because the lace is fraying I haven't had that problem but like I said I really haven't been wearing this hair you know for a long amount of time so I can't really give you any you know information on that as far as you know is the lace going to start fraying but I mean it's lace so I'm pretty sure after a while it's going to start fraying all the closures that I have are either balding or you know they're fraying along the hairline and that's just coming from you know normal wear and tear you know you remove your closure you put it back on if you glue it you know if you gel it if you sew it when you keep manipulating it it's gonna start to fray so that's just normal so I'm pretty sure after a while this is going to do the same thing um so I mean that's pretty much it on this wig I really don't have any problems it's such a lifesaver like I really, really, really suggest everyone have them like a lace wig, like tucked in a stash or something. That way, you know, if you got to get up and you got to run to the store to go do something, you can just throw this wig on. You don't have to worry about sewing down, you know, your, your hair or your wigs or whatever you have. It's just so convenient. So I definitely suggest everyone go out and cop them a lace wig. Um, this is actually my second unit from RPG Show. And, um... This one is the silky. The first one I have is the yakky. I like the yakky texture if you're going to for a natural feel. If you want that natural feel, you know, to just is like extremely believable, like girl, that's your hair. Then I would say go with the um, with the yakky. I'm more of like a silky texture type chick, so I'm really digging the the silky feel of it. Um, 
Now, like I said, this is my second wig, and I absolutely love it. I had a little problems with the first one, but I got that, you know, corrected. I've been seeing <laughs> and hearing a lot of people talk about, you know, they send the good wigs to, you know, the reviewers and stuff like that. Me personally, I don't know how that's possible. I don't, I mean, I don't really know, you know, I don't know. I'm not even going to get into that. Yeah. I'm just telling you what I have. Um, people wanted to know from paying customers. Um, I do have family members that have, family members and friends that have purchased this hair. Um, this, not this actual unit, but a unit from RPG Show. And they have purchased it and they love theirs as well as I love mine. I was sent this for review. They did purchase their hair. So the ones that saying, you know, they send out the good hair to the gurus or, well, I don't consider myself a guru, but to the reviewers, I don't know. Um, all I can tell you is if you do have any problems with your wigs, um, you can go to the instruction book or the manual and, you know, check out the suggestions that they give you, or you can contact RPG Show yourself. I will have their links down below, as well as their email and their little social media things. Um, if you have any questions about the wig that I have in my head, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'll be sure to get to you ladies as soon as I can. See you in the next video. Later.